A search warrant and subpoena have been issued for Vince McMahon as a part of this investigation into payments made to women. Oh boy, oh boy, we have a lot to talk about in this breaking news edition of the Real Take Wrestling News. I'm Emery Q. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. So... It was revealed today, as of this morning, that Vince McMahon had been issued a federal grand jury subpoena, and this subpoena apparently came last month, and it is a part of the SEC investigation against McMahon over these claims, over these things that we know to be true now, uh, that he made these hush money payments to women using WWE funds. Um, for those who don't know, WWE recently disclosed that, quote, the company incurred $5.3 million and $7.1 million, respectively, of expenses related to the costs incurred. That's to the connection of Vince McMahon's alleged misconduct. Um, and to date, Mr. McMahon has paid approximately $17.4 million to reimburse a company for costs that have been incurred. So, again, that is what we know. Vince made these payments uh, reportedly using WWE funds. Now he's paid some of that back. However, when you do this, it's going to always come with a, an investigation like this. Um, so the SEC investigation was apparently complete, though, back in Q4 of 2022. However, other investigations from the government are ongoing. So... This is interesting because for a while there had been a lot of talk about this SEC investigation. There had been a lot of talk about the government potentially looking into legal action against McMahon. And we didn't hear much. But now, today, uh, we know that as of last month, again, this is about two weeks ago, Vince was issued a subpoena. There was a search warrant also part of this issued to Vince and when that happens, it does raise some eyebrows, especially after things have been so quiet for so long. It means that the case is still ongoing. The investigation, obviously, here is still ongoing into Vince and, and this potential misuse of funds. And, oh, well, I mean, like, alleged misuse of funds. Don't sue me, WWE. But, I mean, in my opinion, it's very blatantly misusing WWE funds. What complicates this now, though, are, are two things. One, Vince is officially on medical leave as of, uh, I believe, the 20th, 21st of July due to that back surgery he had, that major back surgery he had that's likely going to keep him away. He's been on medical leave. He's still the vice chairman, whatever his official title is with this Endeavor group. Um, so there's that. And then you also have the complication of the Endeavor ownership of WWE now and then this merger or this TKO merger that's supposed to happen with UFC eventually. How is that going to impact be impacted by this investigation? That's the big question because it's the we we know that no matter what Vince McMahon is Vince McMahon likely, you know, will not face anything. Like this is just completely conjecture for me. I'm not a, a legal analyst. I'm not going to speak as if I have any legal knowledge of this. However, one thing we do know is that when powerful people do shitty things, they tend not to be held responsible for it. Um, this happens in government. This happens in companies like WWE. This happens in sports all the time. And while we should all want there to be justice, while we should all want there to be true action taken against people who do such wrong things, most of the time these things don't happen. That's just the unfortunate reality of the way the world works. The powerful people get rewarded, like Vince McMahon got rewarded for his actions. Because he went out there, he admitted to doing all of this, basically. Um, and then he just says, well, you know, I'm just going to go make the deal of my entire life and sell WWE to Endeavor for billions of dollars. And, by the way, we're merging with UFC, and I get all the profit. Like, there's no one that epitomizes being rewarded for their shitty behavior more than Vince McMahon. And it's not just this. It's time after time after time. So, eh, the way I see it is... I feel like this investigation likely will go nowhere. I hope it does. I genuinely hope that 
if Vince McMahon genuinely did do uh, the wrong things, which it looks like he did. I hope that he is held responsible for them in and in the whatever the f- most effective way possible is, because you can't allow the type of things that went on in WWE, the, the type of things that Vince McMahon is alleged of doing. You cannot let that that go unpunished. You cannot let that go held unaccountable for, because what that does is it shows people in the future, it shows the next generation that when you're powerful enough, when you're rich enough, when you have the the title that someone like Vince McMahon has, you don't need to be held accountable to anyone. That's what it shows. You can't let that permeate. You cannot let that continue. Um, and of course, I, I mentioned Endeavor earlier. Like, like, how is that going to be in, uh, impacted? How, how, how is the deal with UFC going to be affected by this? Like, it's it's a valid question to ask if you ask me. I mean, I think that I think that Ari Emanuel basically knew what he was getting into when when he made this deal. Like. While the scandal and, and, and the brouhaha around it may have died down, like he knew that the SEC was still looking into it. He knew that there was potential, potentially more of an investigation to happen. Like he's not a dumb person. So you would think that Ari Emanuel, Endeavor, UFC, all the parties involved are fine with this. And and look, you ask, if you ask from a creative standpoint, if Vince McMahon were to not be around, I think WWE would probably be a better product. That's just the the create from the creative standpoint right we we know that when vince is around and when he's changing scripts it, it's quite honestly terrible television to watch and for a lot of wrestling fans like myself you'd, you'd rather choose to watch something like monday night football or go out or do something else than watch monday night raw or whatever uh, if vince mcmahon is is writing it that's just what the reality became over the past number of years before triple h became the head guy as far as what's going to happen next, there's no telling. Um, the fact that this subpoena was issued just 14 days ago shows you that there's at least some movement in this investigation. But again, will not pretend to be a legal expert. I will just tell you and report the news as I see it and then give you my very, very honest, humble, and amateur take on it. I want to hear from you, though. What do you guys think? Is this big-time news a search warrant issued, a subpoena issued, for Vince McMahon, let me know in the comment section below. If you haven't already done so, do me a favor, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever a new video is released. Until next time, be happy, be healthy, and as always, keep it real.